Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn any photo into an STL file that you can then download. After watching this video, you will be able to turn any photo into a custom 3D relief that you will obviously be able to 3D print. But nevertheless, let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing we are going to do is find a photo that we want to turn into a custom 3D relief. So this can be a logo, it can be a normal picture of people, it can be a picture of a car, it can be whatever you want to turn into a 3D relief. So I'm gonna make it easy and just type in a soccer player, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and we'll find a cool picture of him and we'll just use this one right here. So what we'll actually do just to be on the safe side is come over to a Creative Commons one just to be safe, but there is this cool one right here. So we will save this picture. And then we're gonna come over to Maker World. And it's going to be this website right here, makerworld.com. And this website has a really cool tool called Maker Lab. And we're gonna to navigate to Maker Lab. After we do that, we're gonna see this page come up. Uh, it has a bunch of different AI 3D modeling tools, but the one we are going to be looking at today is the Sculpture Maker right here. And if it's not up here, what you can just do is come to Single Color Friendly, and it will be right here, Relief Sculpture Maker. So we're gonna go ahead, click on that, and then we're gonna go and start a new project. And then we wanna click if you wanna do a double-sided, like a coin, or just one side. And we're gonna do a single-sided today, but you have the option to do both. So I'm gonna select my picture, slot 10 right here. I'm gonna press continue. It's gonna load in that picture. It's going to ask me if I want to keep or remove the background. I don't think the background's all too important, um, but I'm going to keep it. It is a portrait. Here you can choose the image type and it'll give you a little bit better of an outcome when you do so. So if it's a logo, choose logo. If it's anime, choose anime. If it's a portrait, choose portrait. So in portrait, in this case, I'm going to choose portrait. I want it to be a rectangle. I'm going to do continue. And when you make a Maker World account, if you didn't already have one, which you will need one to use this app, you start with like 20 free credits or might even be 70. But nevertheless, you start with some free credits. So if you are worried about that, don't worry. Um, you start with some free credits when you make a free Maker World account. Hey guys, real quick, if you're watching this video, you probably do a lot of 3D printing. If that's you, I'd greatly consider Coax 3D Filament. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean and stays consistent spool after spool. They even offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so there's zero risk. So use Austin's Lab for 10% off Coax 3D Filament. But now, back to the video. But here it is, it just generated that relief pretty fast and it doesn't look right right now, but once you print it out, these tend to look a lot better once they are printed and it actually knows what it's doing. But if you're not happy with it, you can hit retry and it will generate it again. And then once it loads, we can see what the next try looks like. And I think you have unlimited tries. And if you don't like it, you can just go back and you don't have to use a credit to actually um, print out or export the relief as an STL file. But say we're happy with this and we want to export it, we can come here and hit continue. And then here we can mess with the thickness. So how thick do we want this actual model to be? And then what's the depth variation we want? So the thicker we have it, obviously the depth variation can be bigger. And then that will just give us more detail 
Um, so you can do it what you want. If you want to save some filament, you can do like 1.5 and have the depth variation be like 0.9. And then you can see it's a super thin model. And honestly, in my opinion, that looks a lot better than what it was. Um, so you can mess with this and mess with the depth and the actual thickness itself and see if you can find a cool, happy medium. But after you have that figured out, you can come here and go to frame and add a frame. You can choose no frame or you can add with frame and you can choose a custom frame option they have here, one of the six presets. You come here to the scale, make it super big if you want, or just make a little tiny small one. Um, or it can make it super thick or not thick at all. So you have a bunch of options here. And then you can also add a hook if you want to make it easily mountable. I think it's better just to super glue a mounting bracket on the back. Looks a lot cleaner than this stupid hook, but you have the option to put a fancy hook on it if you want for mounting. And then text, you have the option to put some text on it. Um, I don't know why you would, but you can if you want. So you can add in text right inside this feature if you want to as well, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to delete that. Yep. So if you're happy with how this looks and you want to export it as is, and you're done messing around with this, come up here to export, click export. Click your printer type, it does not matter. Um, if you do not have a Bamboo Labs printer, it does not matter at all. And even if you do, I'm pretty sure it does not matter. So just click the top one, and that's gonna give you an option to download a 3MF or a STL. Just click the STL, that'll be easiest. And then we can see right here, it just downloaded. And we can click to open it. It'll then open up our slicer, obviously. And then we can 3D print this thing, and we're ready to go. Um, so I think the thickness, the smaller it is, is the better it is. It looks better when you have it super thick and the variation, it starts to look kind of weird in my opinion. Um, but also if you make it thinner and you put a light behind it, you have some light shine through and you'll be able to see some of the detail like the lithophanes, which are also on Maker Lab, which I will be showing you guys in a whole different video. But if you're smart enough to figure out by yourself, it's right here and you can make lithophanes with 3D printers and have a backlit source light up your image. But nevertheless, guys, let's now check out this image that we just turned into a 3D printable picture. And here it is, Zlatan Ibrahimovic in all its glory. But that's it for this video, guys. That is how to turn a simple picture off the internet or one of your family or friends or even a company logo into a relief using Maker Labs Relief Sculpture Maker. Now, again, you just go to Maker World. And then they have a free thing called Maker Lab, which you get some free credits when you make your free account. And then you come down to this tool right here, Relief Sculpture Maker. And you can make any picture into a relief sculpture. And it's very, very similar to the lithophane makers that they have on here as well, um, which is right here, which you can use this tool almost the same exact way. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't know about this, I hope you know about it now, obviously. But again, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. But like I said, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Just a quick video showing you guys how to turn an image into a 3D relief so that you can then 3D print. It's pretty simple. I bet you guys will get the hang of it pretty quickly. But for those of you who didn't know about this on Maker Lab, I thought this would be a cool video introducing this cool to tool to all of you guys. But again, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. And if you like this video and want to check out a different video from me, then check out th this video where I show you how I made this YouTube plaque 
for 2,500 subscribers, even though they obviously don't give them out. And it's honestly not that big of a milestone. And I shouldn't be making myself a plaque for it, but I have a 3D printer and I did. So if you wanna watch that video where I make this plaque, check out this link somewhere here. But again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.